Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to, how to embed an Excel file inside your PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so let's look at our uh, slideshow that we've prepared here to have this Excel file embedded. Here we've left this empty space here because we're going to put a table that we have in an Excel file that we've worked on into this PowerPoint presentation. So let's slide this over slightly so that we can see the Excel file. So we'd open the Excel file and we'd find what we want. Here it would be this table. Okay. We would highlight what we're interested in and then we'd copy. And then we'd go back to the PowerPoint presentation and paste. Now, if we just hit paste, you'll see what happens. This pastes the table that we just copied from Excel, except this is just uh, inserted as a table. As you can see, we get these options over here on the top called table tools, and here we can make some tweaks to the table. It, this is a table and it looks good and it looks presentable and for a lot of uh, purposes this is good enough. But this is not embedding an Excel file and a lot of times we need to embed an Excel file, okay? Which means a live Excel, it's, it's basically Excel alive inside PowerPoint, okay? So let's delete this and paste this time in the top left, we see we got these extra options here called Paste Special. And here is where we get to choose to paste as a Microsoft Office Excel worksheet object. Now we're pasting Special as an Excel worksheet. And we click OK. It looks exactly the same as what we had before. And we could even resize this. But check out what happens when I click inside of it. I'm not able to click in those numbers. But if I double click on this, look what happens. There's a little flutter in the screen. And then we're looking at a live Excel uh, workbook. The workbook I was just in copying the table is a live inside uh, PowerPoint. And you can see I can resize it. I can find exactly what I need here. I can even go in here and do some calculations using some Excel formulas. See, I can sum this column here. If you're familiar with Excel, you know what I'm doing here. I can bold these. It's like I'm it's literally like I'm in Excel. I can average this row here. I can drag that down. I can make this italic, I can make this bold, I can make this underline, okay? And when I am happy with what I want, I can resize and I can click, after I'm done resizing, I can click anywhere on the PowerPoint slide and you see that I come back to PowerPoint. And if I double and I and I have the table on, and the numbers I just worked on down here, these sums I just created using Excel, but using Excel embedded inside PowerPoint, which is interesting, right? And then I was able to resize and and let uh, what I only the work I wanted to appear appear in uh, in PowerPoint. Now this doesn't look so great because if I double click again, you saw there was no formatting done to these cells. If I actually highlighted these cells and then went over to uh, some kind of formatting options, format table, and chose something fancy like this purple stuff, right? That looks pretty cool. Maybe this red one. This, this red one looks pretty cool. Then I click off and you see that now it looks a little better inside PowerPoint. Okay, so this is how you embed an Excel file. You copy it from the Excel file that you'll have open simultaneously. Then you come into PowerPoint 
and you right and you go over to the top left and you go into the paste special and you paste special as a Microsoft Office Excel object. And when it comes in, it looks pretty good, but you can double click and bring Excel into PowerPoint, make tweaks that you might need to make, for example, alignment or anything for that matter. Maybe the underline doesn't look so good here. And then when you're happy with that, and you, you can resize to show exactly the cells that you want and not a cell more or less, then you can just click off of that into the spreadsheet, into the slide, and this becomes kind of we're back into PowerPoint and this becomes baked in. Okay? And you could always go in and make changes. You can even go into other slides. Okay? And the slide, the worksheet that we were actually interested to begin with was this one because this one already was formatted and looked really good okay and then you can resize it here so you're just resizing what you selected whereas when you're in the Excel resizing is actually selecting other areas so if I had something here that would show up as you can see and if I resize that still stays we're talking about this. This still stays even if I resize. But if I want to get rid of this, I double click, I get I grab the corner here or the edge here. I pull it in one column, two columns, and if I don't want these empty rows down here, I pull from here up one column, two columns, and get rid of that last column, that third column, keep the total, and now I click on the slide, and now you see I got rid of the extra stuff, now I can resize just what I selected and wanted to sh appear, okay? So this is really cool and really useful, so I would recommend it if you need to, to, uh, uh, to present some uh, spreadsheet information uh, in your slideshow to actually paste special as an Excel object as opposed to just regular paste. Okay, So I hope this was helpful. But be sure to uh, click on our sponsors ads because that's what keeps these video tutorials free. And we have over a hundred video tutorials on our uh, YouTube channel in Excel, PowerPoint, Access, Math, Statistics, and other miscellaneous topics. So till next time, subscribe and have a great day.